Hello my Coco Daisy friends, Julie Deal Mooney here today to do a walkthrough of my January planner. So let's get started. If you like my video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified, hit the subscribe and the notifications bell and then you'll know whenever I post a video. So first thing is the uh, stuff goes in here bag, which is so cute and has all my stuff in it already ready to go. Um, and I just love this bag. I think it's super cute with a little bird on it. I switched the tassel out for a yellow one just because the bird was yellow. I thought that was cute together. Um, I think it came with a black one. So I just used a yellow one from a previous kit. So there's that. Um, I am using the yellow polka dotted, uh, zippered sticker pocket for my stickers this month. And I'll tell you the truth in December, um, we had a red one with the Christmas kit and I have lost it with all my stickers inside of it. So I don't know where it was. December was just kind of a blur. I was sick for a bit and I was out of work for three weeks. So it could be in my office. It could be in my craft room, which is a disaster right now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to look for it. I have no idea where it is, but I'm using the yellow one for January. So I've already got my stickers in that ready to go. And then here is my binder and I am got it set up. So I am using a Felicity Jane uh, scalloped white A5 binder and then this little band came separate to hold it together because it doesn't have, usually it has a little latch right here, but this one doesn't. So it has this little band. I have so many things in it. It was really, this band was kind of tight, but I thought it was a really cute setup. So, and I am a sucker for white binders. So I, yeah, I like white. So, um, loving the little scallop. So I tried to repeat that in different places. So I went kind of simple for my pocket this month. Um, I just used the vellum and I made this J and put some, um, shaker stuff in it. And I tucked the glitter dots in here because I haven't used them very much this month. And then I just put this Worry Less, Smile More card with a uh, sheet of paper behind it just to, and I felt like that was enough for the pocket for this month. It's a kind of odd pocket because it has this little angle to it. And I didn't want to stick anything to this because I've done that before and ruined a white binder that way. So, um, so yeah, so I just have some charms that I've had forever. I'm not even sure where I got them from. Used one of the little chipboard stickers to say, Welcome 2021. And then I used one of the dashboards and I put it in a pocket protector. And then I fused the top of it and made just a little simple shaker page. Um, and then added a chipboard element here, put some washi along the side and some pom-poms and my January title page was done. And so then on the back of it, um, I actually knew this before, but I was reminded of it when, um, Jennifer Miller Crowder put the little note in there, how you can use, um, an exacto, not an exacto, a Sharpie marker and just use an alcohol swab to wipe it off. So I'm kind of doing that. I didn't laminate it, but I've got this fuse thing. I also have one of these vis-a-vis -vis, uh, dryer wet erase pens that I can use on that page too. So that can just be a little dashboard of what I need to do this month. Um, my first tab, my tabs are always exactly the same every month. Um, there's certain things I like to change up in my planner, and then there's certain things that I like to be just the same every month. I find that that consistency makes it easier for me to set it up month to month, and it seems to be all the things that I need to carry with me every day. I have some other stuff that I keep at the house here that's totally separate, but that's a different thing than this planner. So um, this is my first page, which is kind of monthly things. And um, I just, I use some washi. I cut some um, letters out of black paper. I got a Sizzix machine. My neighbor was selling one. And um, so I got asked for some dies for Christmas. So um, these little hearts were made from my Sizzix, di Sizzix dies that I got. Used a little Welcome 2021 die cut and one of the Coco Daisy, pa well, a couple of the Coco Daisy papers and then the tabs from the planner kit to make my first tab. And then I just left this blank back here. It's just really pretty. I like that. I like that paper. So this was one of my favorites 
Um, it was in, it's in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. It's kind of a new thing for the Traveler's Notebook. They're um, kind of like dashboards, but they're the size of a Traveler's Notebook. Um, and so um, this one said resolutions, 12 chapters, 365 chances. And then I just laminated that together and um, on the back with another one of those from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit that says one thing at a time, one day at a time. And then I can just put some little notes right here if I need to. Um, once again, I'll use either a Sharpie marker or my Vis-a-Vis -vis Wet Erase marker to make notes there. And so then this page um, came with the, uh, that's from the Loose loose inserts. I use A5 loose inserts and then I also use an A5 daisy dory that I cut down the middle and I um, punch holes in those pages as well. So I use kind of a, a combination of both for the inserts. So if you're not sure where an insert came from, it's either one of those, either the daisy dory or the, um, the loose inserts, or I'll tell you if I printed it myself. Um, and so this page said notes and I just ran it through my printer and added the words and prayers because this will be where I keep my running prayer list for the month. So, um, so that's that. And then, um, here is my monthly page. Um, I was having a conversation online with someone just recently. I don't refer back to this page very often. So if these things don't happen, I don't ever mark them out. I don't, I don't. I don't, this is a one-time snapshot of what I think I have going on in the month. And, um, but the actual act of putting the stickers down and making the page helps me to remember what needs to be done this month. Um, and so then I repeat that weekly and then I kind of repeat it daily. So, um, I got this cute 365 new days clip from Nani's Custom Creations on, um, Etsy and that clip and my swag that's hanging off came from Sparkle Princess Co. Um, so this page I am using for just a project a month. And so I try to think of some projects that I needed to do. Um, so for January, I'm going to be very careful about putting my Christmas away. I, I just want to be very intentional make it organized so that if I pull out the box for the Christmas tree, it's just got stuff for the Christmas tree so that I could set up the Christmas tree one day and then maybe do kitchen decor the next day. And I'm usually pretty good about that anyway, but some years I try to put it away quickly rather than carefully. And um, this year I want to put it away carefully and make sure that everything is clean. Like I do a thorough, sometimes I don't always wipe everything down before I put it in the boxes, but this one I'll be very careful about cleaning everything and that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, so then next month, which is probably part of this month too, I have some crafty projects that I have to do that are different than planning. So, um, yeah, so I just made a, a thing and I gave myself a couple of free months. Um, just take a break. Um, this is the journal in January challenge. If you haven't, uh, joined in on that, I encourage you to, it's kind of fun. Um, things to journal about all month long. I'm not much of a journaler. I'm trying to do more of it. Um, so this is kind of nice to have prompts here. And then this is the, um, January Coco Daisy planner challenge and which I love doing this. And, um, and so I'm just putting check marks on mine when I've actually posted. And, um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, so my second dashboard that I did or divider, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the technical definition of dashboard, so I'll call this a divider. I don't know. Um, I used one of the dashboards from the dashboard kit. I backed it, made a little frame with some of the pet, one of the papers, and then um, the background is woven washi. And I used black and white. I had this idea that black and white washi, if I wove it all together, would look so fantastic. Really, it just looked like a big fat muddy mess. Um, it. It looked really nice when I just had the black and white washi going one way and I thought about going back and redoing it, but you know what? You live and you learn. Um, that just didn't, it, it, it was just a bit much. I don't know. So, um, yeah, I thought that little black clip looked with the, um, 
hat looked cute there. I have a red hat this year that has a little pom-pom on top. I've, I don't know that I've ever had one of these hats like this because I've always lived where it's warm. Um, so if you wear a hat like this, I mean, like you have like maybe one or two days a year that th this would actually be appropriate. And I wore it the other day because it was cold and it was so nice. And I was so excited because I got it as a Christmas present, like from uh, an exchange kind of thing at work. So anyway, I'm sorry, I'm rambling here. I will try to get on board. So, um, and then I used this uh, dashboard from the dashboard kit on the back. And these two obviously are exactly the same, but I just thought it was such a good mes message on don't give up. And um, so I'll put the small one here and the big one back here because uh, the dashboards come in personal size and A5 size. So my planner, generally when I do these videos, my planner is pretty much finished. And at the point where I do the video, all I'm doing at that point is just writing stuff in at, on a daily, weekly kind of level. But it's not quite there this month. So um, I still have a list of things that I would like to do. I'm not going to fret about it, whether it gets done or not. Um, a f couple of them have been done. Um, but... Um, I'm also going to be memory keeping this month. And so under this items to use, I just want to make sure that um, I just hate wasting all the pretty stuff that I get in my Coco Daisy kit. So I usually make a list of the items that I want to use so that then I know whether I've used it or not. Because sometimes when it's sitting in the tray on my desk, I don't really notice it. So um, I print out, um, I wrote all over this and then I erased it. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I make swatches every month and then I usually make them before I get my um, kits. And then where I wrote on them was where I was color correcting them to get them to be the right color um, because my printer isn't exactly, you know, it's not spot on. So, um, so I do set up swatches because I make stickers to coordinate with the kits. Um, and then I, print out some of the pictures of the kit items just in case I want to refer back to them easily before the month comes because I do think about the month a lot before the month starts. Um, and so I pick out which spreads. I generally pick out which spreads I'm going to use before the month starts so that I can make the swatches here. Um, I did switch. Sometimes I will switch once I see it because I'll see one that I'm like, oh, I like that so much better because you just get a little view here. So, um, and then I make patterns that match for each week. So um, this is just a monthly photo list that I keep in here in this section because this is kind of my planner section. Um, these are um, thumbnails from December because I did the January thumbnails on the back of the December ones. And um, I can tell you that for January, I didn't do that page. I didn't do that page. And I didn't do that page. I didn't do any of these dashboards. I had I thought about this long before the kit ever got here. And then I didn't do anything with it until much later. I did actually do that little library pocket. So, um, And then I just, I made, I, I created these pages, these grid pages with the layout so that I could do thumbnails and or sketches, however you want to call it. And so I have just an extra sheet of paper in here. If I start thinking about um, February, I'll start doing my February layouts. And I'm going to make sure I do them on a separate sheet of paper so that I don't bring the next month with me. All right. So the next dashboard that I did, I made this little bow that's on this. And um, this is the acetate. And I did a... Um, uh, I cut this out on my silhouette 2020, 2021, and the one is kind of hard to see on film. It's much easier to see in real life, and then it's got some little little kind of like confetti drops, like like New Year's Eve, and um and I just love this little bird um on the die cut uh, that says feeling optimistic, and I just want to say thank you to Coco Daisy for putting adhesive on the back of their die cuts. It makes it so easy just to flop one down because it's already got sticky on the back of it. And I just use that ledger, white ledger paper behind it just to give it, um, so that it wasn't just, it would get lost with this crazy going on behind it. So this page, I took this, um, piece of vellum was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit and I laminated it with five mil laminate. So that's not quite as 
as hard as my bookmarks, but, um, and then inside the lamination, I put down one of the sticky notes and I put down the month, uh, pocket card. And, um, I just love the new design on that. I think it looks really cute. And so once again, I can use this Visa B marker or I can use a Sharpie marker here if I need to make a quick little list of stuff that needs to get done. And then I just added some chipboard stickers, chipboard pieces to it. And those are also have adhesive on the back, which is nice and easy. Um, and then on the back, I just put a selection of sticky notes. So this one was from January of 2020. It has the month, and so you can put the days in there, or you can track something. I track nothing, so I don't, I don't know. That's why I have these left over, because I can't figure out what to do with them. But I think they're really cute, so I put them in here. And then these with the date and the numbers, and then a daily note. These are all really cute sticky notes. So, um, And then this page is from the loose inserts. And so um, typically, I don't... Oh, let me think about it. No, this is from the Dory. Okay, so typically I don't, I'll use this page, but usually I will glue something to this page, but I liked this page, so I kept it. So I moved this in here so that I could use this spread. And this is my 21 and 21. That's the uh, prompt. That was the prompt. I think maybe the first prompt in the um, journal in January uh, challenge. And so 21 things that I want to do for 2021. So um, this is my, li my list. And so I'm going to move this over to my memory keeping binder once this is over with, which might be a little weird because it's got my, well, I'm not sure. I don't know what I'll do with that. Maybe I'll have to redo this for my memory keeping binder because this is definitely staying in my planner because the weekly pages here. So this is my first week of 2021. I got this little clip from Nani's Custom Creations again. So this is a pocket that I made. It was super simple. I took this piece of vellum. I'm thinking it was from April. It was pocket card size. And then this was a pocket card, I think. Maybe it was just a piece of paper. Oh, that was just a piece of paper. So I just trimmed that to be the same size. I've trimmed a pocket card so that I could put it inside of it. Um, I just cut out a piece of black paper and um, put a tab on top of it for January goals. So I'm going to write my goals on this little card right here for January. And, um, and I just took a piece of acetate and punched holes in it. I don't know if you can see. See the holes? Um, so that then when I put, it just doesn't show in, it doesn't show anything when I put it in, in my binder. And so, um, that was super simple and super quick. Just, to, I just used score tape around the edges there. Um, I'll probably move that to somewhere else. And then I do make my own bookmarks. If you're interested in how to do that, I have a video on it. Um, it's pretty simple too. You just need transparency pay, uh, film and you print it and then you laminate it and cut it out. Um, and so technically this is week 53, this first, I guess it's the last week of 2020 has 53 weeks, weirdly. So I looked at several different things and they all said that. So I thought that was weird. So this is week 53 and, um, I'm done with this week. I have not, I just kind of put my stuff down in it. Um, I think I'm going to leave it a little, little blank. Um, I may put a little more decoration in here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Um, and I am, uh, normally I would take that page and stick it to something else, but I'm leaving these pages open so that I can use them for my journal in January pages. Um, this page I'm going to use for social media for work and, or communications, because I do emails as well. Um, sorry, my printer is literally printing something. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. Okay, 
So my husband was printing. He did not even know he could print to my printer. Um, he's down the hall in another room and had no idea that he had printed to my printer. So that was a little confusing. Um, so yeah, so I'm using this for social media for work, but I was not at work this week. I didn't do any work this week. Um, so this is just going to be blank. Um, I had a couple of extra grocery list pages. I made these grocery, these are my personalized grocery list and I, it took me a while and I looked weird in Publix, but I walked around the grocery store making sure that I got everything in order of how you walk up and down the aisles at Publix. And so um, I highly recommend that you do this and take the time up front to do this because it is so easy for me to grocery shop and really makes me go to Publix more often. And I only have things on here that we actually buy. And then I have extra lines if I buy something that I don't buy that often. But um, if it's on this list, we tend to, you know, we use it. Um, so once again, kept this page right here for um, the Journal in January challenge. And then this is my social media spread. And so this week, while I've been working on my planner, I just haven't, I, I just, I just didn't do this page. There's, there's no other words for that. And so um, you'll see when I get into the next ones, I printed on these pages, but I was doing that today and I didn't feel like on Sunday I should backtrack and put all the prompts in here or anything that I worked on. I just, I'm just letting this go. It just, it's just sitting here. I could just take it out of my planner and then it won't be a problem. But I love that change is good right there. So I'm keeping this for journal in January. Um, I used to do a dashboard right here, like a weekly dashboard. I'm going to see if I need that. Um, I haven't set that up this month, um, but we'll see. So the second week of the month, y'all, my eight-year-old self is so pleased with me over this layout. Like, there is nothing that I like better. So when I was a kid, I used to get flare pens, and I would get one pink one, and one purple one and I would take the caps off of each one and I would switch them so my pink one would have a purple top and my purple one would have a pink top and I would go home at night and I would take my um paper you know just that regular you know the one that has the red line down here and the blue lines going this way and a ruler and I would take some sheets and I'd do pink lines and I'd take other sheets and I'd do purple lines and that's what I'd use the next day and i pretty much did that consistently. I mean, like I always had a stash of pink or purple wool paper because back when I was a kid, I don't know, they didn't have that. I don't even know if they have that now. But anyway, um, when I look at this page, I just, I really think of myself when I was eight, like this is just fabulous. But I do like it at 56 as well because, you know, it's pink and purple. So it's a lot of fun. So um, I um, use my Sizzix to, I got, um, some dies for hole reinforcers from Amazon. And so I um, punched out a bunch of hole reinforcers this month. And um, yeah, so, and I was trying, I thought, I thought, okay, I'm not going to make any stickers for like boxes. I'm just going to use the Coco Daisy ones. And so I set this all up. Um, I did do the day of the week stickers. I made those myself. But other than that, all of these stickers are Coco Daisy. And it's hard to be limited when I'm used to having all the stickers in the world that I want. So this is my week one bookmark, but, um, but yeah, so I've got my week set up and ready to go and I've got all my things in here that I know about. And so then I'll just add stuff as the day goes on. And this week will be much busier than last week because I'll be back at work tomorrow. So there's that. Um, saving space for journal in January. I may not need it, but we'll see. So this is what I'm doing for my social media pages for the rest of the month. Um, sorry. The lights are going out. Okay. I'm not sure where I was. The lights just went out in my house and that was just weird. So here we are again. So, um, I'm putting my prompts in each one. I just ran these through my printer. I put the date here, ran that through my printer. Um, these cute stickers are from the, um, classified planner kit. And then if you see here, I didn't do so well, um, on, I had to, I, on the rest of them, I moved that bottom prompt up because it got cut off when I 
send it through my printer. So um, my printer will print A5 pages. So um, I pretty much can just kind of set these up pretty quickly and run them through. Um, journal in January. So this is where I will start this week for my social media. And I may date these, date these, put numbers on them, or I may just leave them like they are. Not really sure. And then I have another grocery list. And then we get into my daily to-dos. Um, that first one, I usually, usually don't have that grocery list there. I usually would glue those two together like that so that it would just start on Monday. But like I said, I'm saving all these pages for journal in January because I don't know how much of many of them I'll need. So that page is just, it's just sitting there for no reason. So I also make a today um, bookmark and I haven't done this yet, but I usually clip right here on it so that I can easily pull it out every day. So I'm gonna leave this one out. Look how cute it looks with the pins. It looks super cute. Um, I'm going to leave that one out so that I can clip that. And so I'm not showing the daily pages just because it's a bunch of blank daily pages at this point. Um, I did go in. I didn't like where that one was located, so I moved it over to the side. So um, I made that bow. But both of those bows were from um, Lisa at um, Pine and Peony on Etsy. Love her stuff. Just love her stuff. Um so I ran these through my printer as well, and I put Monday, January 4th, and, you know, I just put every day on every one, and then, so I do Monday through Friday, and then I just do a weekend one, because mostly my weekends are for fun, and I don't, I don't make lists of what I'm doing, usually. I have it on my weekly to do, you know, I have it here on the weekly spread, if I, if, like, the grandkids have a game or something, um, I'll have it here, but I generally don't put anything there. Um, so that's the reason that someone asked me why I don't ever show my daily pages. It's just because, and especially after I've showed one week of them, nobody wants to see a bunch of these pages. They all look exactly the same. So space for journaling. Um, so this is my week two spread. And all I have done right at this point is do my days of the week. And my numbers, I haven't set up my boxes and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I will either do that this week or I'll set it up on Sunday night. But I am going to make boxes that match. So, um, so yeah, so I made my bookmark and I've got that page ready to go. Except for, you know, just set it up. Um, can I just say that I love this spread right here? Um, Control-Alt-Delete. Sometimes I will find myself doing this because that's how I do it on my computer. And, like, if I do something stupid in real life, like if I, I don't know, you know, just not anything big, just little things, I'll find myself tapping that out. And then I'm like, yeah, you can't undo stupid stuff in real life. So, um, but I love that. Control yourself, alter your thinking, thinking, and delete negativity. And I love this page, too. So, space for journaling. So, this is my social media spread for the week of the 11th through the 17th. And I will add stuff in here that I want to get done. Like, somewhere in here, my um, uh, February kits will get delivered. And so, I'll probably do an unboxing video and I'll have to edit that, that sort of thing. So, that'll all go on these pages as well. And so, then we just kind of repeat the whole thing. Thing again. So this is a cute uh, felt flower from Fur and You. That's like a mouthful. A felt flower from Fur and You. And then these are just my daily pages that I clip together. And we go into the next week. That'll either be dashboard or journal in January. And so here is my week three with my bookmark. And it's ready to go. I made the days of the week stickers here. I can't remember back here. Oh, yeah, I made those Days of the Week sticker, too. And let's see what else we have here. Space for journaling. Social media. Um, I just love how this page, this spread changes, like, once you add some color to it. Like, the ones back there were more monochromatic. And when I got to this one, I realized that I'd used all these different colored stickers from the Classified Planner Kit. And so I changed the color of the header for the prompts, and I really like how that looks. Um, so that's all set up. Social media from work, daily pages. 
Um, I love this. You should just keep going to see what happens. Either dashboard or journaling, not sure. And then this is the last week. Um, just so cute, it says this week. So I just made some little scribble headers for that and a bookmark. And I punched some more um, whole ring reinforcers. And then this is the more monochromatic um, social media and, you know, planner stuff. It's like my plan of my planner pages here. Journaling, work, social media, communications. And then <laughs> this says trackers. Um, I just kind of use these stickers randomly. I know, and I don't look at, at that. I mean, I'm the only one that needs to know where anything is in this planner. And I know exactly what the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth tab are. And so um, if they don't fit exactly, I just use them. And so this is my financial tracking section. So I guess technically you could call it tracking, but it's not trackers. Um, so I took those vellum numbers that were in the... I think they were in the memory keeping classified kit. And um, let me get up closer so you can see them. And I used my fuse tool to um, fuse around them and I put um, little bits of sequins and glitter stuff in them for 365. And I uh, used one of the little chipboard stickers and a bit of the floral washi and um, used the puffy, the gray puffy stickers. And so, yeah, that made a kind of fun dashboard divider. Once again, I just used the paper on the back. So this is my financial section. I did clip this together because there's sensitive information in here. But this is my bills to pay sheet. So I just have them listed here. And then I have January through December. And I just put a dot in. I just color the dot in when the bill has been paid. Um, most of them are automatic. I, I have a couple that I have to make sure that I pay them. but. I, I think. I don't know. Most of them are automatic, but just confirming that they all get paid. Just keeping track of my bills and that sort of thing. Um, and so then this is my last divider. And it looks like my thing is doing something weird there. Um, so I just took a ribbon and um, went around and then tied a bow on the corner. And this is my note section. I love this. Always be brave with your life. I just think that's such a pretty saying. And then on the back, I put another. These are both from the dashboard kit. Um, you can and you will. I just backed that up there. And then these are just some of the um, free printables that I printed for the notes pages. And then I also have some grid paper in case I want to do some more of type sketching type stuff. Um, and then I always take a piece of paper. Um, this is one of the folded sheets. And the fold is actually right about here. And I cut it a little bit wider so that it, it hangs off over here. And I like the scallop punch because it mirrors the scallop here. I just thought that was kind of cute together. Um, and so this is just kind of to block off my um, 2021 or 2021 forward planning calendar. And I have a couple of um, pockets back here. So this are, are, these are my 2021 uh, calendar uh, inserts just to keep up with. So these, oh, I've, my January pages are out here somewhere because I was using them when I was setting up my weeks. Um, so my February, my January and my February page is missing there. So I only write on these in pencil. Um, I erase and I change. Um, I made these myself. And so they already have like all of my family's birthday in it or my friend's. Um, or any of the days that I needed to know, or like any of our, my work holidays. Um, so I have all that set up. And so, yeah, so this is just the whole year. It just goes on like this. And so um, the reason that I made them myself was because I could, I, I would have bought them. I would have really been lazy and bought them. But I wanted to have the week number listed, and I wanted to have lines, and I wanted to have Monday start. Those were my three like non-negotiables. And those were the three non-negotiables that I could not find a printable or like ones that I could buy. So I ended up making them myself. So, um, 
yeah. So there's all of that. At some point, I printed these on nice paper, and then from July through December, I printed on icky paper, and I really I think I'm going to have to go back and reprint these because I don't like the way this, this paper feels. And look, it's already getting bent because it's cheap paper. I don't know what that's all about. So anyway, um, I usually make a sticker pocket that's super cute for my alphabet stickers, and I did not do that this month. Um, I just have this little pocket that came with, well, here's an extra one right here. Um, it came with, they come with a file effects uh, binder. Anytime you get a file effects binder, they have one of these little pockets in the back, and they are really useful. Um, and so I just slip my stickers in it my alphabet stickers and that's going to be how that works and then I have another one that has um just kind of things that I need my nonprofit status when I go shopping for work and that sort of thing and then that is the end of my binder and here I have the pen and the pencil that match the kits and I just absolutely love these black and white polka dots they're so cute and um yeah really like that. So I am excited for 2021 with my Coco Daisy Planner. I hope you have enjoyed this walkthrough. And if you have any questions, please be sure to comment below and I'll get right back to you and give you an answer. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, subscribe, hit like, and hit the notifications bell if you're interested in getting notified every time I post a video. Have a great day, everybody.